Hey everyone, I am Nitij and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, I will talk about the input and output decorators and I will show you why they are very important when we are building a decent sized angular application. The input decorator can be used to set a property of a component class as an input property to configure the initial state of the component. The output decorator, on the other hand, enables the parent component to subscribe to the events which are emitted by the child component. It means that the input property is used for top to bottom data flow and the output property or event is used for bottom to top data flow using event emitters. When we are creating an application which contains several components and those components need to communicate with each other, then there should be a way to do that. For this exact purpose, input and output decorators can be used. These decorators are very useful because while on one hand, they allow the components to be placed in a hierarchy and have parent-child relationships of communication. On the other hand, we can control what properties and events are exposed from the component, keeping the remaining properties and functions hidden. A very practical example which I am going to demonstrate is the creation of a customer list. This setup needs a parent list container and individual list items. Whenever we make change to any information related to the customer, then it should be saved on the server. So over here, I have created a new Angular app and I'm using Visual Studio Code to do all the programming. So first what I will do is I will simply add a new folder in this app folder and I'm going to call it components. And after that, I will add two new components to this folder using the command nggc which stands for ng generate component and then I will have to provide the name of the folder which I'm going to use and then the name of the component so first let's add the customer list component and then the customer component Alright, so now I will add the input and output decorators to this customer component and to do that I am simply going to copy and paste some code. So this customer will be having the input properties for the ID, first name and last name and it is also going to have the output event which is called as changed. So when, whenever the uh, change will be done to the first name and last name, this event will be raised and the parent component will be able to use the updated information to send it to the server to save the changes in the database or whatever data source is being used on the server. So as you can see the compiler is throwing an error and to remove it I will need to include the input output and event emitter modules. So let's do that. So now what I will do is I will also add the remaining code for this component and I will explain to you what this code is all about. And I'm also going to add some functions over here. All right, so let's uh, leave it to that and let's move on to the customer list component. And in the customer list component, uh, what we can do is we can simply create the uh, customers and for that, I'm simply first going to add a property to this component and let's call it customer list. It's going to be an array and in the um, ng on init function, I'm simply going to initialize this array with three objects and these three objects are going to have the properties um, for this customer components input properties which we just created over here. We need to have the ID, first name and last name. So we have the ID, first name and last name of all the objects and after that, uh, what we need to do is we need to provide the HTML for this customer list and it's also going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to um, um, repeat a div for each customer and there is an ng for loop over here for every customer in this customer list. So to set the input properties, we can write them like this. First, we simply have to write the name of the property and then we need to write its value. So in this ng for loop, the, uh, this customer is going to have the ID, first name and last name for each iteration and, and this statement will simply set the input property and then we are also subscribing to the changed event of this customer component. So whenever this changed event will be raised, 
then this update customer function should be called and this function is not here so I'm just going to add it so there you go so whenever the change event of any child customer component will be called then this function will be called because we have subscribed to this event and this event whenever it will be raised then this function will be called and inside this function we can simply um, use the data to get the ID first name and last name of the customer and after this we can use this data in a variety of ways we can most probably send it to the server to be saved in any database all right so that's it for the customer list now let's get back to the customer component and I'm just going to add the HTML for it so the HTML is simply going to uh, be a system where we can either view or update the customer information so there's the ID and then there's the first name and last name and when the edit button will be clicked then the uh, component will enter an edit mode and in that edit mode the static values will not be shown and the inputs for the first name and last name will be displayed I have used the uh, template reference variable to send the value of the input um, of the inputs to the uh, component class whenever these functions will be called these update first name and last name so whenever these update first name and last name functions will be called then it both of them will um, again call this update name which will simply uh, emit this changed event with an object which will have the ID first name and last name so I hope that um, this code should be pretty understandable there is another thing which I need to do over here and um, that is to add the um, CSS for the show and height classes So show and height classes are simply going to set the display to either uh, inline or uh, let me just do it first display inline and then so yeah either display inline or display none and I think that's pretty much it for the code which needs to be done now I'm just going to run the application using the ngserve command and the ngserve will simply uh, run this app on a locally created server on the local host which will run on port 4200 and let's see if our code is working or not all right there is another thing which i didn't do and that is to add the customer list component on this um, app component html so let's do that and that should be pretty much it so I think the files have not been saved alright so now we can see the list of the customers and uh, this data is actually coming from the object which we created over here uh, this customer list array object and then um, let's test the uh, customer component whenever we will click on the uh, edit button then the uh, comp then the component will uh, enter the edit mode and we can change the values so um, in this customer list components update customer function which will be called whenever the uh, whenever the event will be raised uh, whenever the changed event will be raised and this update customer is going to have the data of the um, the data as an object which will have the ID first name and last name and we can check the data if it's right or not by simply checking in the console because uh, it is being printed in the console and then whenever I'm changing the name let's do all right so whenever I'm changing the name then you can see that the uh, the console is also being updated with the updated names and then when I will click on finish edit then the uh, name will also update over here if, if I will uh, again go and edit and change the value to something else then um, the changes will be reflected in the, cons in the console and yeah that's pretty much it about this example we can also I don't know change some other 
customer and then set the value to something else and when we will click on finish edit then the um, the the template is going to be updated with the updated values in the properties and yep that's how the input and output decorators are commonly used there are more advanced uses like we can add uh, get and set properties for the um, input decorator instead of simply writing the name of the property itself like we have done um, over here so the get and set properties will simply allow us to uh, first check or verify if the input um, properties value is correct or not if it's not then we can take necessary precautions to update it to some valid value and the the um, the set property can be used to return the value by simply first changing it to any valid value which can be shown on the user interface um, something like that so um, yeah, that's pretty much it about uh, this video as and I hope that you will like this video and you will find it informative and if you do please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and um, also please like the video and share your um, comments or any questions which you have and I will make sure that I will answer each and every one of them. So till we meet next time have a great day.